As crowds gather before the Vatican in St. Peter's Square, the almost incredible news is released to the world. Pope John Paul I is dead. The announcement is received with a mixture of disbelief, shock and sadness. John Paul, the smiling Pope as he came to be known, had won the hearts of Catholics and non-Catholics throughout the world, during one of the shortest reigns in papal history. A gathering crowd of mourners comes to pay its respects to the lonely figure lying in state in the Clementine Chapel. Hailed as a Pope of the people, John Paul's death was as dramatic and unexpected as his election 33 days earlier. Then the vast numbers waiting outside St. Peter's Basilica confidently expected a conservative to occupy the papal throne. Albino Luciani, Patriarch of Venice, was a surprise, but a pleasant one. Here was a man who declared he would be more pastor than prince, who was determined to abandon medieval ceremony, a smiling pope prepared to come down to the people. From the moment of his first papal blessing, the world accepted him with enthusiasm, even joy. He received his cardinals one by one on the steps of St. Peter's, giving a friendly word to each of them. Pope John Paul's reign as supreme pastor began in a spirit of optimism and ended almost as soon as it began. On a gloomy, rain-filled day that matched the sadness of the occasion, Pope John Paul is carried to his last requiem mass. The cardinals, hurriedly summoned again to Rome, raise their scarlet caps as the coffin is borne through the mourners. It's raining heavily now, but the crowds remain. As the cardinals participate in the mass, the vivid scarlet of their robes contrasts starkly with the darkened background of the square. Not far from their thoughts, the question of succession to the chair of St. Peter. The lonely coffin is a cruel reminder that here, a few days ago, a vast concourse of the Catholic faithful joyfully gathered to celebrate the beginning of a reign which held hope for the world. Pope John Paul carried the keys of St. Peter briefly, but he will be long remembered. It's no strange sight for Londoners, a uniformed woman on London's underground...